Electronic Design's Editor-in-Chief Joe Desposito reviewed the advanced object 3D printer at the offices of Quirky Incorporated. The machine is now working to produce a prototype for the operator. And then the operator can take the part and, you know, present it to his R&D department, engineering department, to focus group in the marketing department, and figuring out if they are going to do a mass production of that part, or, or they need to change a bit. What's happening here that uh, you see that there is the printing head, like in, a, you know, in our printing machine or printer at, at home, and the printer is really dropping a liquid polymer, you know, in a very, very small slide. So how many you know, layers does something like this take or something like that? Something like that, for example, is around, let's say, 10 layers. Okay. Something like that. So to print this will take you one hour and a half. Mm -hmm. But you could print a lot of different stuff on the same tray. Mm -hmm. So you have the computer. On the computer, you know, you could put, you know, this and that, and your uh, pen and your uh, glasses, <laughs> all on the same tray, and it will print all of them with different materials. At one time. In one time. Okay. In one shot. So in the morning you are coming back, you know, to work, you're opening the cover, and you have all the different materials. Right. This year, uh, is a print head that's developed by print manufacturers. You know, the printing heads coming from, you know, big companies. Yes. So like the companies, you know, that they are really involved in the, in the inject business. Mm -hmm. But the printed is something that we, we build. Okay. Okay, and this is our, our proprietary. So we have around, you know, overall we have more than, you know, 50 patents, you know, pending and we have more than 70 patents that already granted. And all the time we are working more and more. We have, you know, 30, people sitting in the chemistry department in Israel and just working on the new material, mm -hmm. the, new, the, new, the new trend of the material. You know, higher temperature, higher uh, uh, probability to not to deform, uh, better flexibility, better shades or whatever, all the time. And then in addition to that, we have around 70 people, in addition to the 30 that's just working all the time on, you know, the, 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 the new level or the, 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 the evolution of this machine, you know, faster, higher quality, you know, better, you know, surface finish, whatever. And, and for a particular, now I see the, the tubes running in the back, uh, and there, there are uh, the uh, material down here that's being fed up. How much uh, material here goes into, say, one product that you put on? on? So I mean, I'm sure it depends on what, what it, it depends on. It, dep it depends on the geometry. Because if you are taking, you know, your, your mobile and you will put the mobile here, so it's in a way it's one to one. Because you don't have a lot of, 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 of weight. Of, because the, you don't need the support because of the geometry of the, of, of the shape. Mm -hmm. But if you are doing something that is having a very unique geometry, something like that, that you need a lot of support here, so all that support will go to be waste. But what we are doing with the, with the files in the computer, with our software, we are proposing you the best way how to put the stuff on the tray. Because if you are taking this, if you are taking this one, okay, and you will print it like this, or you will print it like this, it will be different. Yeah. And you will, you, with, with this kind, you need a lot of weight here, a, a lot of support here, otherwise it will fall apart. Mm -hmm. Here you don't need it. Right. So the idea is really to reduce the support or the waste as much as possible based on our ability to support you and to recommend you what is the best way to put it on the, on the tray. So this is the screen with our object studio, this is our software. And yes, and here you could see the tray and the way that they put the, the, the part that was printed before. Okay, so that was the part, it was like this, and then you can also see it in a, in a, in, in a different way. You can see it in a three-dimensional way that, you know, how to put it. And then if you would like additional products, you would like to put this one and that one and the mouse and additional products, just put everything on the tray and we will support you how really, in a way, to organize it on the tray for best, you know, for best performance. What you see here is also our software that you could see, you know, about the materials. So because this is the Connex, you have model one, which is one material, you have model two, this is Tango Black, which is a flexible material. This is Vero White, which is a rigid material. And here you have the support. Okay, so two cartridges of support, two cartridges of different material. And the, the, the composition of the materials, of the model material, could be wide. So it really could do, in a way, whatever you would like to do in each part of your, of your printed part.
Now, if, if you happen to run out of a material during a something going on, you can just the machine will stop, and then you just add some more material. Or? Uh, absolutely, okay. absolutely. But in the beginning, before you're starting to do the print, it will tell you if you have enough material to do the okay. print. Now, if by mistake you went home and you were not aware of it, the machine will stop. You can come, you can put, you know, new cartridges, and you can turn the machine on again. So we are we are connected to Autodesk and to Siemens and to you know PTC, Satya and SolidWorks and you know whatever you know 3D CAD software that there is down there. We know how to do what we call the API, the application in, 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 in integration. And then you know we don't care too much which 3D card you are working with because we know how to import each and every one you know to our file Steve Jobs when he, when he uh, chose the way that the iPhone is going to look he did it in our machine he does so Apple has our machine you know uh, HP even HP has our machine you know he does Rebo uh, you know Nike uh, Raytheon Boeing you know 80% of the 